Well, good morning, church. Hope you all are doing well today. Hey, I got to confess one thing. We've been in this series, Made Away, looking at Moses and everything that God did in Egypt during the Exodus. And I got to be really honest. We talk about Moses so much, and I constantly am thinking about the Prince of Egypt. I don't know if you've seen the Prince of Egypt. I was corrected. It's not a Disney movie. It's a DreamWorks movie, but it was around when I was a kid. And if you haven't seen it, and if you haven't shown your kids this movie, you got to find this movie. Prince of Egypt, it's awesome. Killer soundtrack. But every time we, we talk about Exodus and I think about the person of Moses, I think about the character in Prince of Egypt. And what's special or what's important about that is that the character is portrayed as maybe in his 20s when everything goes down and uh, he kills the Egyptian. And then he's maybe in like his 40s when he comes back to save and bring the people out of Egypt. But the reality, as we read in Exodus 7, is that the reality is that Moses was 40 when he killed the Egyptian, and he was 80 when God appeared to him at the burning bush, and he came back to save the people in Egypt. And what's so important about that, that the the reality that he was 40 and then 80, is that there are 40-year gaps of time in Moses' life where God is unaccounted for, potentially. I don't know about you, but there's a ton of times in my life where I feel like there are these snapshots where I see God working here and there. And then there's a lot of the in-between where I don't necessarily see God's hand at work as vividly as Moses did in those two separate instances. And my encouragement to you today is to not forget that God is working in those spaces. It might not be 40 years, and I hope for your sake it's not 40 years, but even if it is, God is not silent. Even though he might not be bold and appearing in a burning bush in our life, God is working even in those periods of time. So my encouragement to you today, I don't know where you're at, but if you're in a period where you haven't seen God's hand working in incredible ways right now, don't lose faith. Know that Moses went 40 years, numerous times in his life where he didn't see God working boldly in his life. So today, if you need that encouragement, be reminded that even if you're in a season of God being silent, God is still working. He's working for you. He's working to make his name known and his his name made great. So let that be an encouragement to you this morning. As we continue in this series, be reminded that God is working. As he did with Moses and in the past, throughout the Old Testament, throughout the New Testament, throughout history, and throughout our lives, God has been continually working And we have faith and trust that he will continue to do just that. I can't wait to be back with all of you in church together when we get to to be all uh, as one church in the same building. I can't wait for that day. But until then, hope you guys stay safe and we'll see you soon.